Good evening and welcome to Gallery Watch. I'm Cassie Hart and tonight we are at the Nice Store Studios in Melville for the opening of a solo exhibition by local artist Judy Rogers. I love it. I, I've known her for a while and um, I just love the, the lines that she has and the like the guy said when he was doing the opening thing, that sort of truth and honesty that comes out. So yeah, and I'm, I'm very admiring of her. Yeah. Do you think that some of the images here of the family dynamics um, can relate to your own family? Oh, very much so. I've got very similar age children and a boy and a girl the same. So yeah, I think it's wonderful the way she's captured that. Mm. Is this collection similar to like her past work? It's not actually. That's what amazes me about Judy is that she's always coming up with something a bit different. I think that, again, he said that. She, she always sort of pushes the boundaries and tries something new. So, I mean, we've been to exhibitions that have been purely textile and then exhibitions where there's been a lot of more oil work and this is quite different. Yeah, so it's lovely. Do you have a favourite piece here? I do love the lace one, the, I can't remember what it's called, the, the one of the skirt, the detail, and I also love the one of her daughter who's wearing that lace dress, but um, just the fact that it's got that perspective from the top, and then the mirror has the more normal perspective, I just love that, it's very clever, yeah. Any exhibitions? Um, I've been to plenty of ex exhibitions. My wife is uh, part of the, the committee down in Vass uh, for the Vass Art Award. So uh, we're having a look to see what the com competitors are doing. So oh, I see. It's sort of like a strategic journey to Perth for us, and uh, a lot of the committee are here now. So okay. it's an exhibition. So we're, we're glad to see that we've um, set a benchmark, really. Yeah. Have, um, so I guess in terms of competition, do you think that you're doing pretty well? Definitely. Yeah, the girls have done a terrific job this year and I think it'll even be better next year. So what do you think of um, Judy's collection here today? I think it's excellent. Uh, there's a lot of pieces um, uh, that are definitely viable. Um, she has a very definite style, which is uh, it's good to see that across the board. Um, I think she's done a great job with the exhibition and it was a, it, it's very worthwhile us coming up from the bush to see it. So is this the first time you've viewed Judy's work? No, no, I share um, a, a studio space at Tresillian with her. Yeah. So what do you think of Judy's work overall? I think it's exquisite. I love the feeling, the pathos, the humour, and her detail and line work is incredible. Hmm. So you share a studio with her? We, we, we're in Tresillian, we have our own studio space, but we share the um, common building together, yeah. So what's she like to work with? Oh, she's fantastic, yeah, yeah. Every time you see it, you say to her, well, what show have you been in and how many prizes did you win? Because she's been cleaning up all the local shows. Yeah, she's fantastic. So what are your thoughts on this particular collection? I think it's, in, I think it's incredible, as I said. The, the, the pathos of the, um, the siblings fighting, the marriage partners, the anticipation, the adolescent child with the embroidered dress. There's just so much meaning behind the actual picture that you may or may not be guessing correctly, but it's how it, how it seems to you. So are you involved in the art industry here in Perth? Yes. What do you do? Um, I'm um, a professor of art history at the University of Western Australia. 
So what do you think of Judy's work? Well, I've only just encountered it, and um, it always takes me a while to, to sort of tell in a way, but um, on first, first glance, I, I, think, I, I think I really like it. Um, it it's, uh, it, it's very direct in its subject matter. It, it's, it's very unpretentious, and there's a kind of um, consistency of style about it, which uh, makes it work as a group exhibition. There's some very interesting angles. Um, the, the downwards view on that young girl's head as she looks into a, a mirror of a reflection of herself. The, the hands that either are or are not tied together in that folding work over there, which tempts you to open it up to see if it really is about freedom or constraint. Uh, the box, which you have to look over the top at to see someone looking into a box, looking up at you. All those sorts of tricks uh, are interesting, but I, I actually like um, some of the quieter ones, like uh, the couple over there, one is a male, one is a female. Uh, I, I like the sparseness of the, of the lines that make up the illusions, and I like the fact that they're both wearing, wearing the same kinds of clothes. They're male and female, but they're both wearing a shirt, which is a kind of unisex garment. And, and so it's sort of, in a way, more about the similarity between the sexes than the, than the difference, and possibly their togetherness. And I like the lovely little sentence in the, um, in the writing. It's, it, the writing is quite uh, explicit about what the works mean. And, she actually says it's about exaggerated sentimentality and melodrama. I, I, I think there's a bit of humour and honesty about that. It's a slight exaggeration to get its message across. So that's what I think at the moment. <laughs>
and the one looking up. And it's, uh, it's really intense in the inside look of the girl's face. And uh, I, why I enjoy to do this because um, it's one thing, a few, few viewpoints of the head I, I do a lot of times, like the full, the full side view. But um, the front side view is, is quite a challenging one to, to make. So uh, I, I really had a ball of making this work. You happy with how it's turned out? It is, yeah, I really like this work. Stay tuned to WTV because after the break we'll be back with more works from Judy Rogers.